This video presents how ancient Athens acquired the financial reserves to build the monuments of the Athenian Acropolis including the Parthenon, the Erechtheion, the Propylia, and the Temple of Athena Nikki, all made of pentelic marble. These buildings, except from the Temple of Athena Nikki, were part of a large investment program that was envisioned and largely implemented by the famous statesman and general of Athens, Pericles. When Athens began this project, there were approximately 10,000 talents in the treasury. Nowadays this amount would be between 1 to 2 billion US dollars. Just think of a city the size of Athens in the 5th century BC with a population of about 300,000 people, possessing this amount of cash. But, how did Athens acquire so much cash? By that time, the source of income of the city was mainly the exploitation of the Lavrium silver mines and that wasn't enough. Where did all that money come from? The answer is the Athenian alliance. The Persian invasions. The Persians were people located from Asia to the Mediterranean. It was the biggest empire in ancient times with a massive army. In 499 BC, the Greek city-states of Ionia rebelled against Persia and King Darius. Athens and Eritrea send aid to the rebels. Darius then invaded Greece and punished Eritrea and Athens. In 490 BC Eritrea was sacked and burned by the Persians. In the same year the Athenian forces aided by the army of Plataea, prevailed the Persian forces in Marathon. The Persian Empire lasted from approximately 559 BC to 331 BC and began to decline under the reign of Xerxes. Xerxes depleted the royal treasury with an unsuccessful second campaign to invade Greece and the defeats in the Battle of Salamis and the Battle of Plataea. Persia was eventually conquered by Alexander the Great in 334 BC. The Athenian Alliance In 479 BC, the Greeks had successfully overcome the invasion of the Persians with their military victories in the Persian Wars. After these victories and the liberation of the occupied Greek city-states, the trade routes of the Aegean and the Mediterranean Sea, were again available. These routes had previously been dominated by the Phoenicians, allies of the defeated Persians. The Phoenicians were an ancient civilization composed of independent city-states which lay along the coast of the Mediterranean Sea stretching through what is now Syria, Lebanon, and northern Israel. The Phoenicians were a great maritime people, known for their mighty ships. The city of Tyre and the city of Sidon are the most powerful states in Phoenicia. In 478-7 BC, on the initiative of the Athenian general Aristides, Athens united most Greek city-states, and the first Athenian alliance was formed. It was also known as the Delian Alliance or Delian Union. The military successes of the alliance, especially under the command of General Cimon, son of Miltiades, liberated all the Greek cities of Asia Minor from the Persians. The Greek cities participating equally in the alliance were the city-states of Evia, Hawkes and Eritrea, the cities of Halkidiki, the city-states of Cyclades, Thassos, Chios, Mytilene, Locrida, Methoni, Moronia, and most of the cities in Ionia and Marmara. The city-states retained their independence and each had one vote in conferences that were held on the island of Dilos. The island of Dilos, next to Mykonos, near the center of the Cyclades, is one of the most important mythological, historical and archaeological sites in Greece. The excavations in the island are among the most extensive in the Mediterranean. Ongoing work takes place under the direction of the French school at Athens and many of the artifacts found are on display at the Archaeological Museum of Dilos and the National Archaeological Museum of Athens. The island had a position as a holy sanctuary as it was the birthplace of Apollo and Artemis. 
The Alliance Treasury was kept here. The initial allied contribution of each member of the Alliance was 460 Attic Talents per year. The Attic Talent was 6,000 Attic Draxmas and the most precious coin in the 5th century BC. With one talent you could pay a shipyard to build a trireme, the most advantage warship of ancient Greece, or to pay a trireme crew of 200 rowers for a month's worth of work. With the creation of the Athenian alliance, the city of Athens assumed a leading role. Within a few years, Athens had become the absolute ruler and manager of the alliance's financial resources. A natural consequence of the economic development of Athens was its hegemony over the other Greek city-states like Eritrea, Hawkes, Sparta, Corinth, and Thebes. During the Pericles period, along with the cultural growth of the city, this role was strengthened and the alliance was transformed into an Athenian hegemony. The transfer of the treasury from Dilos to Athens in 454 BC played an important role in this change. From that year, with the contributions of each member increased, Athens began using the funds of the alliance at will. Soon, a huge amount of wealth accumulated. Pericles used these abundant resources and began the construction of the Acropolis monuments. If you want to extend your research, have a look to the description of the video for more links and sources. Did you like this video? Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to support our channel.